Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace an iPhone 8 Plus, um, the front screen replacement here. So first of all, you need to go ahead and remove the two screws from the bottom. What you want to do is to get a pry tool You want to go ahead and cut the adhesive So the adhesive is kind of all around the phone That is to prevent the water going in um, The iPhone 8 Plus is a water resistant phone So that is the reason why they have this adhesive all around the phone uh, to stop the water from going in. So once you have that cut and you can go ahead and open up the screen. Okay, at this point here, go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. There are four screws that holds onto the bracket. You want to use a plastic pry tool to go ahead and remove the two flex cable for the screen. You do not want to use the metal to pry it open because the metal may damage the connector. So as you can see the connector is very tiny and fragile. So use a plastic one is, is much safer. In the front here, there are two screws that hold, holds onto the bracket, so remove the two screws. Again, come back with the plastic pry tool. And detach the front camera. Okay, at this point here, so what you see is, um, I have the new screen here. And the goal is to transfer the home button to the new screen and also the front camera and the speaker to the new screen. Okay. You want to come back here again, use the plastic pry tool to disconnect the connector. The home button is taped onto it, so get a pry tool. Be very careful, go underneath the cable and slowly pry it open. It is just a double-sided tape that holds onto that cable. So once you have that detached, the home button would come right out on the other side of it. Okay, the next step I'll be doing is to remove the front camera.
Okay, be very careful. I'm gonna go underneath. And get this sensor. Okay, once you have that um, somewhat disconnected, and go ahead and get the entire piece here. You see that there are four gold dots that is for the year speaker so you want to get a pry to and go underneath that flex cable and it is double-sided tape that holds on to the cable so once you have that uh, loosen up then you can go ahead and remove the entire run here okay at this point you can remove the um, the year year piece cover actually it's not needed the new screen comes with it now you see that this front camera has this metal piece uh, this golden stuff so it's exposed um, the tape here is still on to is still stick onto the phone so go ahead and remove that and transfer back onto the camera okay just like that okay go ahead and come back here You want to transfer the back plate over to the new screen. Right, so here's the new screen. Remove the plastic cover. Um, you can see that the cable is exposed, the flex cable. Some of the new screen, it comes with a tape that covers it. Uh, some they don't. So, so for this one, it doesn't come with it. What you can do is, um, you can get any tape and just kind of tape it the front and back so that the sensor is not touching any metal okay that's the reason for that uh, besides this it doesn't it doesn't do anything else okay once you have that covered go ahead and install the back plate So get the two flex cable here, go in between the back plate, okay, make sure the back plate is aligned properly.
okay very well so the next step i'll be doing is to install the home button you have the home button push it from the front There are four screws that holds the bracket and the home button. And they're using the Y screwdriver. Okay, the last screw, the fifth one would be for the metal bracket here. Okay, once we have that all installed, the final step is to get the front camera. Okay, go ahead and put the screws back on, and there are five screws. All the screws are different sizes, so the way you see it, as I remove the screws, um, I align them as how it is, so when I put back, I know which screw that goes back to where. Alright, so we have the new screen installed and come back here and finish up the uh, flex cable.
Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and try it out first and make sure um, everything works on the screen. Uh, once you have that working, you can finish up by putting the two screws back um, at the bottom. So at this point, I just like to test it out first. Okay, so this new screen powers on, looks good. While this is booting up, I'll go ahead and close the screen. And do not forget the two screws that go back at the bottom. Yeah, it looks good. Every single number works. So I hope you liked the tutorial and learn, learn something from this. Um, until next time, take care.